Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Colossians chapter one, verse 16. It reads as follows. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. I recently listened to a Christian program and it had me thinking. They were talking about purpose and it wasn't necessarily about finding your life's purpose, but rather it was about finding the purpose of things that God gives us, of gifts and callings and people and attributes, the various aspects of life that God gives us finding the purpose in them. Basically, they said finding out why something or someone has been given to you by God, finding the purpose in that helps you not to worship that thing. This can be kind of hard because some of those things are very good things. They're not bad things. Yes, of course, we want good things, but if our perspective is off, that's when we have to be a little bit more self-aware. Maybe you wanna get married or have a child or have this particular job or make this amount of money or have this particular house in this particular neighborhood or calling or title or whatever, and you just can't imagine life without it. You can't imagine not having that thing in your life. If that thing is so important to you that you can't be happy without it, Yes, we need to sort of reevaluate our priorities. We need to make sure we're not holding on to that thing so tightly that it's everything. And there's no condemnation here, friends. I have definitely been there a few times. But I've learned that if we make the gift more important than the giver, then we are worshiping it. And yes, our priorities are off. And if we can't be happy without that thing, then what we are seeing is that thing's purpose is to make us happy. That's the purpose of it. That's the whole purpose. And though it may seem sort of strange and odd, but that's not the purpose of the things and the blessings that God gives us. That's not the purpose of life itself. That's not what God has for us, what God wants for us. Our verse today reminds us that in him, it is through him that all things are created, all things on heaven or on earth, whether visible or invisible, all powers and rulers and authorities, Everything was created by him, through him, and for him. All people were created for him. All families and churches and missions and jobs and accounts and callings, all of that, all animals, and I mean, just everything on this planet was created for him. And its purpose is not to make us happy. That is not the main purpose. That is a byproduct. That is a blessing. But the main purpose of everything that was created, including us ourselves, is to bring him glory. Marriage is meant to bring him glory. Children are meant to bring him glory. Families, pastimes, hobbies, interests, church, friends, community, homes, jobs, callings, all of it, attributes, all of it, all of that is meant to bring him glory. It's not meant to solely make us happy and build us up and give us these happy, wonderful lives. It happens. That's God's blessing. That is a byproduct. But the number one purpose is to point people to him, to bring people to him, for him to get the glory. So in keeping that in mind and keeping in mind that it is all created for him, by him, through him, when he asks us to let go of something, to accept the no when we really want that yes, to just sort of say, okay, Lord, I'm willing to let this go and walk away because you're asking me to. When he is asking us to open our hands and to give it back to him, what he's saying is, do you trust me? Is it about the thing that's in your hand, the thing that's in your heart, the thing that you want so much? Or is it about me? Can Am I enough? Can you trust me to be enough? Knowing the purpose of a thing, knowing that it is all for his glory, helps us to hold things lightly so that if he asks us to give it back to him, we freely give it back to him and we freely trust him. We freely let go of that dream or that promise or that situation or that calling. We freely give it back to him knowing that, okay, if he has asked us to let that thing go, that it is because that is his purpose for us now. And we can trust him in that because that is the very best thing for our lives. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, and that you are the real purpose, God, that you are absolutely, Lord, the desire of our heart, God, that you are absolutely, Lord, the most wonderful gift Lord, we could ever receive, God. And we are sorry, God, when we've made it someone else or something else, God, or some situation, Lord. We are sorry, God, when we have put that thing above you and we have worshiped that thing and wanted that thing more than we have wanted you, God. Help us, Lord, to turn away from that mentality, God, for you are enough, God. You are more 
more than enough, God. You are good and wonderful and loving and kind, Lord. You are our peace. You are our joy. You are our helper, God. You are our love, God, the lover of our soul, God. And while, yes, there are desires of our heart, God, and yes, you do want to bless us with the desires of our hearts, God, if you were to ask us to give other dreams and thoughts and gifts back to you, God, to give those things, to let those things go, help us, Lord, to freely do it, God, because you are worth it, God. They are not more important than you, God. You are worth it. We pray for your help, Lord. We know this is a hard area, God. We thank you, God, that you are helping us to grow, God. And we love you, God. It's all about you. In Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.